Hey guys, this is Keita from Keita YouTube. So we are getting ready to uh, walk into the event and uh, we are here at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Tucson, Arizona. So we're just gonna keep filming and we'll just hope we have a great time tonight. YouTube here and I have an amazing artist here from the Tucson area and he's gonna go ahead and tell us a little bit about himself and what he does and about this oh, weekend. Please, I'm excited. Your name is? Kita. Kita. Yeah, Kita. Kita. She's from San Diego and I'm, I'm yes. sure welcome over here to Tucson. Yes, Kita. thank you. I this just is a beautiful it. paradise yes, of yes. the arts right here in Tucson, Arizona. Tell us, Southern tell Arizona. us. Yes. And this is actually a celebration of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Death. It's actually one of the traditional, most important traditionals in Mexico and all okay. over the world. But actually, it's now in Tucson. We we'll love to invite everyone to please come join us this Sunday, November 6th, 5 p.m. from downtown. We're gonna walk all the way to the Mercado San Agustin on Congress, so you guys can please join us. Paint as a Katrina, Katrina, whatever you want, you know, Skeleton or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we can be able to you know, have fun this Sunday, celebrating Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Death. And this beautiful one is going to be right there next to yes! me. Right here, look at, look at, look at, right yes. there, right there. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what, what is this event that we're at tonight? What is this about that we're okay. celebrating tonight? This is actually, you know, in honor of all the people, you know, the altars is dedicated to the people that already passed away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and what you see actually in the altars is like, you know, the people, the things they actually they used to do and drink and eat their favorite oh, food, their favorite okay. drink, you no know, things like that. And there's actually like, you know, every organization has their own altar. So it's very okay. important actually yeah. to continue I, with our tradition. Like we're from Mexico, we actually, we bring this to the whole world. I and it's beautiful to this. share this with all the brotherhood and the whole so world and Tucson. It's actually, Tucson is an international Look. I love it. Coming, I coming, love coming. it. I love it. So if you guys are here in Tucson, the event is Saturday? No, this Sunday. This Sunday. Sunday so tell us the time again. Tell us where and when on okay. Sunday. The procession is going to start downtown and we're going to walk from downtown to Mercado San Agustin. It's located on west of Congress, right across the street from El Rio Health Center. Please be there and have fun. Yes. We're gonna have Mexican food, chocolate, awesome. tamales, everything, pozole. Awesome. Awesome. Mm, it's gonna be all delicious. Awesome. I'm so, so excited. everybody, please welcome. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday yeah. Arizona is right here waiting you, please. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're gonna um, look at some more of the art and we'll be right back to you. Okay. Absolutely. Say bye. 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 Okay. Hey you guys, I'm over here again, here at the Museum of Art here in downtown Tucson. And actually we have a blast right here celebrating Dia de los Muertos. Actually Katifa, I mean, from San Diego, is right here with us celebrating the Dia de los Muertos here in downtown Tucson. We actually put an L together for this Sunday for the procession. But also right here, I just want to mention to you guys this beautiful event that we have right here behind us. It's actually Dia de los Muertos altares painting by Actually, by the amazing international artist. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Good catch. <laughs> but the international artist, Gary yes. Franco. Yes. And actually, this amazing, beautiful event is actually brought to you guys by El Consulado de Mexico in Tucson, Ricardo Pineda, El Licenciado Pineda. He's an amazing man since he got to Tucson here the first time. And he's having a blast embracing the beautiful universal of languages, art, and Tucson. Thank you so much we and welcome everybody. Love you guys very Mark, much. Mark, Mark. Beautiful. 
so beautiful. Each one of these are altars to individuals who have lost the loved one, and this is the way that they honor them. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. You can see all the little pieces. Are just amazing. This is so pretty, the lighting on this one. The whiteness of the road. And this one is, this is this piece that's just, it just changes. Just the way that it changes. I'm going to sweep all the way over here. It's just amazing. Let me just get information on the artist there. Just amazing. If you guys want to slow this down, it's beautiful. Hello everybody, I'm just, uh, this is Kita from the Kita Vet YouTube channel and we are here at this amazing event that I want you to go ahead and tell all my viewers a little bit more about and introduce to me. Thank you, Katif. Yes, Actually, yes. Actually, we're still here at the Museum of Art and I want to introduce you guys, very honored to have uh, the Mr. Council of Mexico in Tucson, Arizona, Mr. Ricardo Pineda. Thank you, how are you doing? Huh? Happy yes. to be here in this amazing event, my journey ways we participate with the community as a whole in this magnificent art museum. Uh, putting together different artists, different participants in order to uh, make uh, altars, which is a huge tradition in Mexico and Mesoamerica as a whole. Today we had that, we had several altars, and we're very happy to be here showing a little bit of our culture here in Tucson. Yes, tell, tell us a little, because I'm not familiar with this, uh, tell me a little bit more about this though. You have specific artists that are here today that have actually created altars. Mm -hmm. So they've created altars to people that they've actually lost in the past? This specific year it was about not only altars, it was about people painting the so-called Katrinas. Oh. So we have mm -hmm. a magnificent painter, Cari Ka Franco, who is around here uh, showing part of his art. Now, mm -hmm. Katrinas is a series of paintings about this specific sort of art and to us is uh, really an honor to be able to present here to invite here and to participate with the art museum as i said before on a yearly basis presenting different aspects of this so-called uh, day of the dead art dia de los muertos art, which is has, has turned to be universal named by unesco part of the non-tangible uh, inheritance to the world so we're very happy to participate in that. We have this specific exhibit here, here in Tucson and to continue participating on a yearly basis, working as this with the community, with different players, stakeholders and else to uh, convey part of our culture. Mm. And, and uh, tell me again your name slowly so that I'll be able to... Ricardo to... Pineda, Consul of Mexico in Tucson, Arizona. Awesome, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing this and thank oh, no. you. Thank, thank you guys you. both for sharing all this amazing art and this just amazing experience here. And thank all of us from Tucson, we thank you and everybody in the art world everywhere applauds you and thanks you for just bringing this as a free event so everybody and anybody can attend this. Thank you so much guys, God bless you. Thank you once bye again. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then here's an Henri Matisse piece. <laughs> This is called Reclining Nude with Necklace. So interesting. This is so French printmaker, painter, and sculptor Henri Matisse. He was known for his bold use of color and fluid draftsmanship. In 1891, studying at the Academy Tulane in Paris, he painted landscapes and still lifes in traditional style. After being exposed to Impressionism, color theory, and the works of Vincent van Gogh, he changed his style dramatically. Matisse was initially associated with the Fauve wild beasts known for their wildly emotive and discordantly colored works. He exhibited them at the Salon Alt Home in 1905. He later became known as a leading figure in modern art. You guys can pause this at any time. 
it just oh beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> I should have a clearing. <laughs> I won't go over there. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to go in these rooms. I'll have to duck down. You have you have a very coveted position down here. We have some more just beautiful, beautiful pieces. I love this piece. It's a very large piece. Highway Mesa. We're gonna try to go down very quickly down below so that I don't miss out. I wanna see, I understand there's a Matisse piece down here that would be just absolutely fabulous to see. Hello. Oh, you do too. You do too. Oh, thank you. I just had fun. You know, we're all artists, I can tell. We have fun in life. <laughs> oh, I love this piece right here. Oh, this is just fabulous. You can pause at any time to see this piece. And I love this piece over here. <gasps> Rusting and the shine of it. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's a watercolor on canvas with recycled fused glass and resin. Wait, how amazing is that? This is a beautiful piece over here, too. Beautiful. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Look at the lighting of this. Of the airplane and the horse. The lighting on this is just beautiful. Up on that hill. And here we have just a beautiful piece of a cowboy. Yeah, you can see the technology of the airplane moving in, coming in towards the west. There's this piece. We're just gonna Keep walking now. We're gonna go a little bit further down. One more layer. This guy has wonderful character. You could just kind of imagine his hands, how worn they are. His jeans and his shoes and his boots. Just fabulous. So we're gonna go down a couple more layers down. But you can just see what an amazing event this is. Down there you can see. You can see all the beautiful masks. This is some really beautiful architecture here. Church Avenue. This is downtown Tucson. So just, just beautiful, simplistic. I love that palm tree right there. There's a helicopter. All you race fans. Beautiful. So again, this is, this is this exhibit. Right here. I'm gonna go slow on this so you guys can read this. And pause this at any time. That's so what you guys get to see. Just a really, really amazing event celebrating the artists and the art and coming westward. So we're approaching the downstairs part of this museum. There's some really beautiful pieces down here. You can see in each of these rooms just beautiful pieces. As 
we go down here, the corridor. Looks like a couple of Renoirs. Let's see. This beautiful piece. It's a very peaceful piece. I love this one right here. Oh, this is bad. A French painter, Jolson, and printmaker. So with Thousand and Expressionism, in 1891, he created the Ecole de Beaux Arts, where he studied under noted Gustav Moreau and became influenced by his symbolist style. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. The many rooms you lead, oh people. Oh, Picasso! This is a beautiful Picasso piece. Very simple. Very, very beautiful. Very nice. We have Renoir. You going to Mexico? Yeah. Okay. There's another one. Very, very pretty. Okay. And Mara was a French artist from 1841 to 1919. And this is a Bernard. Where's the Pierre Bernard? This is called Reclining Nude with Necklace. So interesting. This is so French printmaker, painter, and sculptor Henri Matisse. He was known for his bold use of color and fluid draftsmanship. In 1891, studying at the Academy Tulin in Paris, he painted landscapes and still lifes in traditional style. After being exposed to Impressionism, color theory, and the works of Vincent van Gogh, he changed his style dramatically. Matisse was initially associated with the Fauve wild beasts known for their wildly emotive and discordantly colored works. He exhibited them at the Salon Antome in 1905. He later became known as the leading figure in modern art. You guys can pause this at any time. But just, oh, beautiful. Whoa! <laughs> I should have a clearing. I won't go over there. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to go in these rooms. I'll have to duck down. You have you have a very coveted position down here. And this is one of my just favorite artists. I have this exact piece in a very small, small rendering that I got in Rome. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's just amazing how he can make bronze look so liquid. It's just amazing the talent that he had. It's just beautiful. This is beautiful. You can actually see his name right there. But his pieces are just, just unbelievable. Muscular, and you know, I just feel the energy going through that fingertip and those toes. Wait, it's ripping on top of the rock. Just beautiful. <gasps> Is this a Modigliani? Oh, it's a Giacometti. 
just get these two guys mixed up. Very, very nice. Looks a little bit about him. Be able to slow that down. You guys want to watch. It's a hornet. Beautiful. Andre. Daniel. Beautiful. colors. Just, just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Just really enjoy the, the mustache, the eyes, and his hair. So nice to have several pieces of this. Very, very nice. Very well done. I've never seen this one. I mean, how did he do that? I uh, know, it's just gorgeous. How I don't know how he got he inside. Those are so cool. That, the intimacy of the sharing. You almost see her giving him little butterfly kisses. The toes of the babies are their curls. The way her shoulders are like turned in. He's just absolutely unbelievably amazing. The tools are just, this piece is just absolutely amazing. Oh, it's just beautiful. This is the piece. Just beautiful. You can feel the, the leaves that have fallen, the crispness. It's just a beautiful, cold, hot day. The shoulders. The simplicity of this painting is beautiful. It's about the artist. I really like this piece right here. <laughs> I've never heard of these artists before. Jean Harp. Harp. But this is just a... It's beautiful. Oh! A colder! I've never seen a colder before. You can just go right in here. Very nice and slow. Boy, just very, very beautiful. seen a huge Henry Moore. I believe it was um, at the Guggenheim with my twin. Oh. This is in 23 karat gold. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. And of course, Moreau. Oh my gosh. This is just Look how fabulous this piece is. 
Oh, just the delight and love and laughter and love. And I just, that's flattering. It's just divine. Yes, and of course we're going to be I thought this was an Andy Warhol, but you know what? Sometimes I just, it's beautiful. Look at this color. The color of the pink cat. Oh, beautiful. James Rosen. This is another Robert Rauschenberg. It's beautiful.
is beautiful. Look at this piece. Just so whimsical. Free. I'm going to take a moment. I really like this. It's one of my favorites. It's very whimsical. This one here is by Gertrude Stein. Red grooms. Oh, I just love this piece. Who is this? Oh, I'm not familiar with this artist. Oh, I'm going to have to study. This piece is just beautiful. It's quite amazing. The colors, I'm not sure if they're showing up, but they're just vibrant pinks and teals and greens and golds. Just very, very beautiful piece. I love that piece. Let's see what this one. Very rivers. I'm gonna have to go home and study. So exciting, they have Rauschenbergs. My twin is gonna be excited. Just so exciting. So this just kind of gives you a pan again for this, for this art. I'm going to go into Native American portraits. Let's do a real quick little Side here, so you guys can I'm not gonna have that much time, so I'm gonna have to go through these kind of fast. We're gonna have to whip stitch through these. So sorry to do this. Let's just get this. Go through these pieces. I hate to be going so fast, but I'd rather have you just have a nice flavor of this museum. This is probably going to be. Oh. I love her face. She's got a beautiful face, doesn't she? Lots of character. Love this. You guys let me know which ones you like. I can come back and sit with each one of these a little bit more. Just beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful pieces. Well, oh, this is. Look at the colors, the oranges and the pinks and the greens. Just beautiful. Really, really, really nice. So now we're moving into tinier pieces. I like the colors there. I love this piece. So colors. It's quite interesting. Ooh. This is an interesting piece. So 
So that one was Latin American folk art. That one and his treasures. Very interesting. We'll have to go back and when we have a little bit more time. It's been, oh, oh, oh. Do I really? Oh, this is oh. Can I tell you guys? Oh, this is my favorite room. Oh, I'll have to come back. Oh my gosh, I'll have to come back and just, oh. I'm just gonna have to come back and spend some time here. Oh, oh, okay. We have 30 seconds. Sorry guys, this is just gonna have to be very, very quick. They've been here since 10 a.m. So we need to let them go get some sleep. But this is a very, I just wanna get this this behind you. Oh, minimalism. I'll just get this really quick for you guys. You can use this. Very good. Okay, you guys, so this is Kita from the Kita YouTube channel. Just wanting to remind you guys what an amazing night of art we had here in the Museum of Contemporary Art here in Tucson. Just amazing art all around. They have this event on the first Thursday of every month. It's just an amazing event. It's free for the public. And tonight they were doing a celebration with sugar skulls and decorating so I thought I would be in the theme of things but you can just see right down there is the whole Redon exhibit lots of beautiful pieces and sculptures but it was just a really really amazing amazing fun night fun night meeting people from all over Tucson and just enjoying the art seeing all the beautiful art those are some of my favorites down there Again, you can see the Moreau, all the different pieces down there. Just really, really beautiful pieces. I'm just gonna really quickly, as we walk out here, just get some more visions of the art. But really, what just a really neat event for people to come and to have the exposure to the art. Just very well done. And just a really beautiful, beautiful event for artists from all over. And just a beautiful way to expose, exposure for children to just all the amazing art. Hello everybody and welcome again to the Thursday night event here in Tucson at the Madam Museum of Art here. As you can see behind me, we have many of these just beautiful sculptures and totems that each one of these students did. Just an amazing night. Every Thursday night they have an event here, excuse me, the first Thursday of every month here in Tucson. So if you guys are in the area, definitely come by and check it out. This is Kita from the Kita Fit YouTube. Remember to stand in your light, to stand in your truth, and above all else, always be a warrior in life. Take care, I love you guys, bye. Hey guys, so this is Kita from the Kita Fit YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, what an amazing, exciting night. As you can see, the event is just winding down. Here we are down at the Museum of Modern Art in Tucson, Arizona, where we were able to go in every Thursday night. They, excuse me, every, the first Thursday of every month, they have a free event. And tonight it was celebrating uh, candy skulls. And as you can see, we had just some amazing interviews, met some amazing artists and amazing people. We had so much fun. So um, as I walk out here, I want to show some of the sculptures that are out here. There's some really pretty amazing sculptures. But I love you guys. Remember, stand in your light, stand in your truth, and above all else, be a warrior. Bye-bye.